everybody. This is uh Kenny 794 and I'm gonna do a short little I guess introduction to Core Painter 12 for those who do not know how to use it. Uh I'm gonna open the program right here. Uh I just got done finished with a wind bar wind bar from Wacom. Uh it was Heather Michelle was uh, the host She's the master painter, and I've learned a few new things that I think I might share with you guys. Uh, one of the things is going to be how to, well, today's tour is going to be about, going to be about how to save a brush, save a brush that you made that you might want to save and let's just say it's a good brush and Heather pointed out that let's just say if you made a brush and you liked your brush and then let's just say you forgot how to do all them settings and you upset angry at yourself okay but you say what happened to my settings I had this brush all set up I love this brush what happened to it and on and on and on but uh we're not going to go into that detail, but I'm going to show you how to save a brush. I got my brush settings here. Brush selection. I get this whole list here. And I'm just going to click on Artist. Please give me for the uh, Norton. I want to go to Smeary Round. Oils, by the way. Sorry. Smeary round. There you go. Get this smeary round here. This is Heather's favorite brush, she says. But how do you save a brush? Well, you got two options here. We're gonna get this one or get this one. But, but one moment. All right. We're gonna. You see, you get your brush here. You made a. Um, hold on one moment. I'm going to go to brush controls. I want everybody to focus on this brush controls. My brush can run violation down here. Get this whole list of things on here. It's huge, but I'm thinking, ah, what do I do with it all? But, uh, we got this whole thing here. This different previews, but we're not going to go through that today. Um, and go through the basics, which saving the brush. This is a, a tracker that she pointed out to me. Um, I don't have my tablet here, so I can't tell it. It's a brush tracker. It's, I guess you could say it tells you if you're, what's your, uh, if you're upset or it would change colors on you, but I'm happy now. See, I'm happy. Blue. I guess what blue means. But anyway, I'll close that off. And you get this enable brush right here. Calibration. You got this value scale and this and let's just say you put it up here and you move this down to here and this here and this one down to here. Okay. Now you're going to take your brush and you're going to think about how did I do all that? I forgot what numbers they were. You see you got this fifty, you got then you got negative one, but you're gonna think about what what were those numbers and once you write them down, which some smart person do. But we're gonna go and we're gonna show you how to save this. So let's just, we're gonna close this off. We don't need this window open anymore. And uh, you got your brush here, brush right here. And uh, okay, I'm gonna show you. You go right here and you have these brushes. You got copy or save. You're gonna push save and you can name it whatever you want. For the purpose of this, we're gonna name it. Uh, Mm, BC. But we're not gonna save it real quick. We, I'm not gonna save it under this one. But you can see this whole category you could uh, save it under. But you can also make some folders, which I will show you in a different tutorial how to make a folder under your brush selections. But we're not gonna do that right now. And uh, now we're gonna do it underneath here. You get this little list icon over here. You're gonna click it. And you're gonna have save. And click the save button. For this, we're going to call it. 
Put it in the PC. In the PC. In the PC. I'm gonna save it. There you go. Now it's saved. Now, when you go under your brushes, which we were under oils, you're gonna go to the way bottom. And there was a brush we just saved. So you're gonna, let's just say you went to feet pencils. Pens, I meant, sorry. Okay. Get this pen going up, and you're probably wondering, how do, what was that one I had? I forgot about it, so we're just gonna pull over here. Corner oils, oils, and uh, we're just gonna go to straight bottom and smear around B to C. There you go, you just click on it, and there's your same exact brush. Okay, you see that perfect combo. But, at this point, I was just showing you how you could save certain brushes that you had made and you didn't want to lose them. And, uh, I hope this little introduction to saving works. I made it short for time purposes and people out there who need to go and anything else, but I will go over this list up here. These two bar up here, I will go over one of these, uh, a, new, a newer tutorial, but the next tutorial I'm going to do is a, is a selection of every brush that we have. I'm going to go through all 170 brushes. We're going to go into this one, and we're going to click this one, and we're just going to go down and make a line. And I'm going to show you every single one when I get my tablet. I don't have my Wacom tablet right now, but when I do get it, I will do a review on it and use it to show you all. Um, if you guys want to look ahead, it's called the Wacom Bamboo Capture Pen and Touch. It's a Wacom tablet, uh, bamboo capture. I recommend it for beginners, but if you want to get to professional, like Kevin Michelle, she's a painter master and, uh, some other painter masters out there, they use the Wacom Intuit 4 or 5. There's small, medium, large, extra large, which they range from 200 to uh, 1200 bucks. But the Wacom Capture is only, I paid uh, 90, close to 100 for mine. And I just, beginners want to get the use and get the feel of the tablet. But I'm using a mouse right now, and you can see how you don't really get everything. Everything you would get get with a with a tablet. But well, let me change this a little bit. And uh, thanks for that's it for today, and thank you for watching this tutorial. And I will be 